Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about some different tips about jobs. I have here this job which is send discount email and it works on Redis for Q. And here I am simulating sending email after uh, 3 seconds and I am logging or right to log here email sent successfully in my laravel.log file. So now if we try to dispatch it in normal way and here my Q work command already work I will send it as we can see here it starts running for three seconds and now email sent successfully but for some jobs you may want to run it directly or immediately so instead of dispatch we can say dispatch sync the difference here in the syntax actually for dispatch here we can say on queue sync but instead of that we will use dispatch sync directly so if i back again and i will visit the page in takes three seconds here in the browser no jobs run in the queue and again email sent successfully for some reasons there is another method which is called dispatch after response from its name it will work after the response come to the user in the browser if i back again here and i will visit my page okay nothing loads and now it dispatched immediately by the way after visiting the page so it's not in the queue also back and check for the third time but there is a note about using this job inside laravel documentation it says in case of the server using fpm it's used for jobs that takes about one second so in our case it doesn't work it's it's a bad practice i mean but instead of that if the task or the job takes one second at most we can apply this solution the other topic about it also let me use the normal dispatch again inside job we have tries to retry the failed job so for example i will say here user equal to user find the id of 10,000 and for example name this user doesn't exist in my database so if i run php artisan tinker it exists let's try with non-existing one we will get this error here because this user doesn't exist so let's see what will happen is disable it and now back again refresh the page let's restart our queue i will clear the jobs restart again revisit the page and as we can see fails fails and also fails and it tries three times for failed jobs also if you noticed it try immediately so it fails in the same second and starts or retrying in the same second also so if you want to delay between each fail we can use also here this back off we can say between each fail delay it for two seconds I will stop my queue and restart it again. Now, recent runs for the first time fail. Wait for two seconds or three. Starts again fail. Wait for another three seconds and now complete it. Retry here is the red one, which means retries or all tries done. And it fails also, right? If you want to add different durations between each fail try, we can use the back of method as an array here so we can remove it and we can say after first fail delay it for three seconds after second one or second fail delay the next or the second try for five seconds and after the third fail we can delay it for seven seconds right so back and restart again first one after three seconds next try after five seconds and done seven here because it tries three times here's the first one second one third one and it didn't work for seven because it's for the fourth try if you want to specify specify or do a specific action in case of job failed like notification or notify the user we can using failed method it takes exception as a parameter if you want to send the, the exception or you can do any 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 logic you want in case of failed so i will back and remove the log here again i will say there is an error simulate it maybe like sending a notification to the user restart my queue 
back and refresh for the first fail i will back and check and it works for the last try as we can see here it works correctly actually and now after third try here we can see there is an error message let's check it again i will say for all of them set it to one and as we can see here it wrote it for there is an error after last try so here's quickly some different tips about jobs and the queue and laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you next video